I'm now going to load one of a pair of flintlock dueling pistols. First operation is to prime the pan. This is done in this manner and the pan cover closed. Then a charge is put down the barrel and a bullet is selected and a patch placed over the muzzle of the gun. The bullet placed carefully in the centre pressed down by hand and then forced home with the ramrod. This is a very good example of an English 18th century pistol made by Mortimer of London somewhere about 1790. It's got a browned twist barrel. It's signed on the barrel with the name of the maker in gold. It has a hair trigger and a particularly fine piece of walnut in the stock. It's normally used at about oh, 15 paces, which was dueling distance, at a target rather like this, uh, which was chosen because it's about the size of a man. I'm going to now measure off the distance of 15 paces from this target. When you're fighting a duel, it's got to be a very well-regulated affair. No one can fire until the word of command. If such a thing happens, they are guilty of murder. You await the word of command with a pistol at your side, pointed to the ground, facing the target sideways to give the smallest possible mark to your combatant. Are you ready? One, two, Three, fire.
Well, there she is, and what a hell of a pistol she is. Um, took me a little bit of work, browned the barrel, it came out pretty nice. I had to uh, shave down these rear sights because it was shooting way too high. And then I kind of rounded the edges a little bit to make it a little more comfortable, less apt to cut you. You can see it's got a big front blade sight, and so lowering that really improved my accuracy quite a bit. You know, something uh, pretty cool about putting together a pistol and taking it out to the range for a day of fun, and I enjoyed the heck out of this. I'll tell you what, she likes 30 grains at 25 yards. Anything under that, she likes 25 grains. I also found out that these daisies really make a difference. They're shaped like a daisy. I'm not sure the science behind it, but it helped me quite a bit. All right. Stay safe, stay warm, stay free.